Kudus Regency is the smallest district in Central Java Province, which has an area of 42,516 hectare or 1.31% of the total area of Central Java Province. The older name for Kudus is Tajuk. The word Tajuk means a building that has a four poster square plan generally found in the form of tomb and mosques. The latter choice of the name Kudus, originating from the Arabic Quds which means holy. The town of Kudus was one of the most important towns of Java in the 16th century was the seat of Sunan Kudus, one of the Wali Songo. The history of the crow of Islam in Kudus is one of the part of the history of Islamic Javanese community. The rapid crow of the Islamic and the harmony shows the friendliness, the spread of Islam in Kudus. Proof of Islamic crow in Kudus Regency is the building of the Manara Kudus Max, which was built in the 16th century precisely in 1549. The location of the Manara Kudus has located about 1.5 km to the west from the center of Kudus city, Alun-Alun or Simpang Tuju, precisely in Kauman village, Kudus city district. Sunan Kudus built al aqsa Max and incorporated a cemetery for himself and his family at its backyard. The site and the temple-like minaret, of which may have partly been a pre-Islamic temple complex, which is today known as Manara Complex. The most interesting unique feature of the stretch of Sunan Kudus religious activities is the tower. The tower of the mosque serves as a place to invite prayer when the time has arrived. The tower building faces west and the shape resembles a temple building. But to reduce the resemblance of the tower with the Hindu temple building, attach the ceramics to the tower building. This building consists of three parts, namely the legs, body, and pigs. Menara's pillars have a square shape with 9.5 meters each. al aqsa Mosque. This mosque is on the left side of the Manara Kudus building. 
Al-Aksomas have undergone several changes in the form of improvement, namely the replacement of Mustaka. the front ports to accommodate the increasingly abundant worshippers. As a tourist area, there is cultural and religious tourism. The Menara Kudus area has tourism potential track tourist visit whose number are increasing every year. That's why the people who live around the Menara Kudus must carry out activities as craftsmen, traders, and service providers.